Vision is a crucial part of being human. Our eyes provide spatial awareness and depth perception. Vision enables rapid information processing about the environment, facilitates communication through non-verbal cues, enhances safety by detecting hazards, sometimes, and is fundamental for learning and interacting with the world. Of course, plenty of visually impaired people adapt, have assistance and still live thoroughly fulfilling lives, but what if there was a cure? What if we are witnessing with Neuralink the very first steps along the path to restoring vision in the blind? Just consider how monumental that would be for those born without sight or those that have lost the use of their eyes. Here's reason number 420 as to why Elon Musk will go down in history thanks to founding one of his many companies, Neuralink. Over on X, Neuralink just posted, We have received breakthrough device designation from the FDA for blind sight. This is a big deal. In essence, it's a fast track status for innovative medical devices that could significantly benefit patients with serious conditions. Elon goes on to say, the blind sight device from Neuralink will enable even those who have lost both eyes and their optic nerve to see, provided the visual cortex is intact. It will even enable those who have been blind from birth to see for the first time. To set expectations correctly, the vision will be at first low resolution, like Atari graphics, but eventually it has the potential to be better than natural vision and enable you to see in infrared, ultraviolet or even radar wavelengths like Geordie LaForge. Much appreciated US FDA. I just want to ponder on the irony here for a second. Elon Musk is vilified beyond belief hated the world over by the dying mainstream media, being shunned by the Democratic Party, who you'd have thought would have been proud to support his world-leading, game-changing companies like Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink and others, but because Elon speaks freely on X and occasionally says Go f*** yourself to a room full of supposedly important people, or highlights the insanity of reality today, he's public enemy number one and the guy that's genuinely doing the most to improve our situation here on Earth. Satellite internet for the entire planet with Starlink, anyone? A radical shift away from fossil fuels thanks to leading the way with Tesla cars and energy? A plan of action for backing up our species by making life multiplanetary? In case, I don't know, another giant comet wipes out life on Earth and we have to start again in caves with sticks. Yet here we are again, witnessing the beginnings of another Elon-led project from Neuralink, Blindsight, which at least holds the opportunity of life-improving procedures for goodness knows how many people in the future. Any credit to the guy for working on so many of life's major problems? Or did you just hear, he's a big bad billionaire who just can't get enough money? Back to Blindsight, what is it and how will it help? As I'm quickly finding out, Grok is far better than me at summarising information, so let's ask Grok. Blindsight is an experimental brain implant development by Neuralink, aimed at restoring vision to individuals who have lost their sight, including those who have lost both eyes and their optic nerve, and potentially even those blind from birth. Here's how it's poised to help and what it entails. Blindsight has received the breakthrough device designation from the FDA, which is reserved for devices that promise significant advancements in treating or diagnosing life-threatening or irreversibly debilitating conditions. This designation fast-tracks the development and review process, highlighting the potential of Blindsight to revolutionise vision restoration. The FDA, by the way, is the Food and Drug Administration in America and is responsible for protecting the public health by assuring the safety, efficacy and security of human and veterinary drugs, biological products, medical devices, the nation's food supply, cosmetics and products that emit radiation, cracking jobs so far on some of the processed food that's just one molecule away from being plastic yet has somehow been FDA approved. I'm sure it'll be fine in the long run. Unlike traditional vision restoration methods that rely on the eyes, Blindsight works by direct interfacing with the brain's visual cortex. This involves implanting electrodes that can stimulate neural activity, essentially bypassing the need for functional eyes or optic nerves. The technology translates visual information into neural signals that the brain can interpret as sight. 
crazy. Just close your eyes for a second and imagine seeing wherever you are right now, but not through your eyes, some sort of low resolution Minecraft world, perhaps of basic shapes and colours visualised in your head. A bit like a dream, I suppose, but with time, just like video games, this could evolve into a world beyond our current eyeballs capabilities. Vision that could one day see in electromagnetic waves, infrared, ultraviolet light, x-rays. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. I do tend to do that a bit, don't I? Uh, understand that I am a work in progress here on YouTube. While the initial iterations of Blindsight might offer a low resolution vision akin to early video game graphics, the long term goal is to enhance this to potentially surpass natural vision. Elon Musk has mentioned possibilities like seeing in infrared, ultraviolet or even radar wavelengths, drawing comparisons to sci-fi characters like Geordie LaForge from Star Trek. I clearly should have read this bit before my last interjection, shouldn't I? But on we go. Despite the excitement, there are significant hurdles. The technology's resolution is currently limited due to the number of electrodes, which might only provide a basic form of vision initially. There's also the challenge of ensuring that the brain can interpret these new signals correctly, especially for those blind from birth who haven't developed visual processing pathways. Beyond vision, Neuralink's work with Blindsight and related technologies aims at broader brain-computer interfaces. This includes helping paralysed individuals control devices with their thoughts, indicating a future where brain implants could assist in various motor functions or sensory inputs, like eyesight for example. The ability to control physical objects with the power of thought, telekinesis, has been the stuff of fantasy until now. I'm sure most of my audience already know this legend. This is Noland, an American who became the first human recipient of Neuralink's brain computer interface, BCI implant, aimed at restoring digital autonomy to individuals with severe physical disabilities. Noland became quadriplegic following a swimming accident in 2016. He has no movement from the neck down. His participation in Neuralink's trial, which began with his implant surgery in January 2024, has been pivotal in demonstrating the potential of BCI technology. Noland has used the implant to control digital devices with his mind, significantly enhancing his independence and interaction with technology. He can now browse the web, play computer games, write tweets like this. Did you know Neuralink was incorporated nine days before my accident? I did. When you see an opportunity, sometimes you just have to dive in head first. Hashtag dress for the job you want. Are we allowed to laugh at that? I don't know. What a legend. Despite facing challenges like some of the implant's threads retracting, his case has provided valuable insights for advancing this frontier technology, aiming to help those with similar conditions regain control over their lives through neural interfaces. You can follow his journey on X at Modded Quad, and yes, he's got a wicked sense of humour, as you can see from his profile page. From X posts and broader discussions, there's a mix of awe, excitement and cautious optimism. The potential for someone to see for the first time or regain lost vision is seen as groundbreaking. Though tempered by the understanding that the path from current technology to widespread high resolution vision restoration is complex and lengthy, here's a timely reminder of just how far things have come though for SpaceX in just 18 years. Elon sitting through the wreckage of the first rocket to the first commercial spacewalk that happened just last week. Elon's companies engineer at the speed of thought. We should expect no difference at Neuralink. Neuralink's ambition with Blindsight isn't just about restoring vision, but pioneering how humans interact with technology through direct brain interfaces. This could lead to advancements in treating neurological conditions, enhancing human capabilities, or even merging human cognition with digital environments, like Nolan himself, a cyborg if you will. As Elon Musk and others have hinted in the past regarding the rapid advancements in AI and future AGI, artificial general intelligence, if you can't beat them, join them. Which is perhaps a nice way of saying, if we don't evolve somewhat technologically speaking, our basic meatbag brains will be left in the dust compared to AI. That should be a rather alarming and eye-opening realisation for the future of our species, if indeed we don't keep up with AI. What a time to be alive and witness such technologies take shape. The innovations that Elon Musk has brought this world over his lifetime at least deserve a Nobel Prize. But I know there will, for some reason, be hate-filled, confused admirers of Elon Musk watching this video. Firstly, why are you here? Is there nothing else on YouTube but me? Wow, there's a dystopian future for you.
Secondly, how is it that despite mountains of evidence of successful, world-leading, groundbreaking, future-inspiring companies that he has built, you just can't credit the guy for living a life worthwhile? What would he have to do to get a little respect? I pondered on X that when multiple nuke-filled SpaceX rockets become their only hope in destroying an incoming comet and miraculously succeeds in doing so, do you think Elon Musk might get just a little credit for saving life on Earth? Probably not. Good luck to everybody who's working at Neuralink and working on Blindsight. It sounds fantastic. I made a fun video looking at all things Cybertrucky. If you missed it, check it out next. And there's a confession and exciting announcement in there for you too. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.